welcome to this week's edition of NCDOT Now. I'm Carly Oleksik. Once again, the new year kicked off with a wintry welcome, bringing record-breaking cold in not only one, but two winter storms. The first storm brought ice and a few inches of snow to eastern counties and coastal areas, which is an unusual sight in North Carolina. The ice, coupled with constant below freezing daytime temperatures and single-digit nighttime temperatures, made it especially challenging for crews to clear roadways. NCDOT crews from across the state were sent to assist in clearing efforts, which took nearly a week in some areas. This week, another winter storm moved through the state, dropping several inches of snow in most areas of North Carolina. Nearly every county received snow, with the highest amounts in the Piedmont, where up to a foot fell in some locations. Additional crews from other counties were brought in to assist, first clearing interstates and primary routes before transitioning to secondary roads. When it was snowing, we were pushing it off pretty good, but when temperatures fell, it turned to ice, so we had to salt overnight and then cut through to, to plow this morning. We also want to recognize some of our workers who made a big difference for a few drivers recently. North Carolina State Farm Incident Management Assistance Patrol employees Robert Remini and Denny Thrift saw a mother in distress on the shoulder of I-73. They pulled over and jumped into action, saving a child who was suffocating. And during the latest round of winter weather, Triangle Expressway Roadway Manager Alan Shapiro and Bradley Young, who also works with the North Carolina Turnpike Authority, went above and beyond. While monitoring NC540 on the operations floor, Alan noticed a stranded motorist and knew it would take some time to get the driver help. So Alan asked Bradley to meet him on the Triangle Expressway so they could personally assist the driver. We'd like to thank our workers across the state who help keep drivers safe every day. On another note, hop on the train to experience firsthand the improvements between Charlotte and Raleigh with the completion of the Piedmont Improvement Program. This series of 40 rail projects that included station improvements, closures of street level crossings and new bridges have greatly increased safety for vehicle drivers and rail passengers. Additionally, the ability to more efficiently move freight traffic will help spur new economic development and job growth. You can learn more about these projects at the link below. That's all for this week's edition of NCDOT Now. As always, you can stay connected with us on Facebook and Twitter at NCDOT. You can also follow us on Snapchat and Instagram at NCDOT.com. And from all of us at the North Carolina Department of Transportation, safe travels.